Hey you guys, it's Sierra, and right now you are watching Fact TV. I can speak a little Japanese. Um, yeah, that's probably something I don't think people really know. Um, so I say, Konnichiwa, hello. Yonoshiku um, watashi no ame wa And that's saying, hi, my name is Sierra. Um, and then it's choto nihongo hanashimasu. I speak very little Japanese. Yeah, so, yeah, I know a little. I love, ja I love Japan though, it's super cool. I like fresh pressed apple juice. So good. I fear swimming in the ocean. The cra this is, let, me tell you, let me tell you what happened. So I was going on a yacht trip years ago, and it was so much fun. I was jumping from the top of the boat and everything. And then at nighttime, when the lights are, when it's completely dark, and the lights are on underneath the boat, I, see, I saw the big school of fish like just swimming. And it freaked me out, and I was like, I'm not swimming in the ocean. And then I started thinking sharks. Mm, yeah, me. Mm. You know, my brain just goes so bad. It's like, you don't know what's in the water. Like, seriously, like, I was all fearless at first. I was like, yeah, jumping in. I'm like, woo, you know. And then after I saw that, I was like, it's a wrap. So, yeah. I think an I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston is pretty fun. Because you know you're not going to sing it like her, but you might as well just try to sing it. <laughs> I've never been starstruck before. Um, the, I mean, the only person I think I would be starstruck if I met um, is probably Michael. Yeah, I've, I've definitely had some people that I've wanted to meet before, like meeting Janet was really cool. Um, and um, she, her and her brother, like the two of my biggest inspirations. Um, you know, I, I do think that if I met Michael, I might, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, I, I talked to him on the phone, which was super cool. Him and his sister actually do have a really cool, um, they have a cool effect on me, but um, I definitely think if I saw Michael, I don't know, I may have just froze. I think I may have just been like, really, this is really Michael, really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe I'd have that moment. I was too young to be kissing, um, and I thought it was the grossest thing ever, like the wet, I, I wasn't feeling it then. But you know, now, you know, just say it, no, it's lame. <laughs> Having my child allows me to have so much more fun and um, it makes you also selfless. Like, you know, I, I don't really care. It's a lot of things that don't matter so much. Like I don't stress so much about things anymore because you realize there's so much more, you know, to, it's, it's not about you anymore, you know, having a child and, and there's just so much to really be thankful for. Hey mom, the meatloaf. We want it now! The meatloaf! What is she doing? I never know what she's doing back there. I used to be called CC. My dad called me Sugar. Actually, he called me Chum Chum. That's my mom's nickname. My dad called me Chum Chum. Um, CC and Chum Chum and, and Princess. That's, that's actually my middle name, so yeah. When I was pregnant, I used to have the craziest dreams. And I dreamed that I gave birth to, my baby that I, that I dreamed that I had, that I gave birth to looked like my dog. And it was the craziest thing in the world. Because my dog is so cute and it's a brown fluffy dog. And um, they, his name is Tyson. Before having a child, I think every mom can relate to this. You want to know, you're like, what's my child going to look like? Who's he going to look like, you know? Is he going to have hair? I had, I had the weirdest thing in the world. I'd be like, you know, God, please forgive me if I sound really shallow, but I just I pray my baby has hair, right? And I think that's why I dreamed that I gave birth to a baby with a lot of hair, look like a dog, look like, look like my dog, so yeah. I, I used to write this in people's yearbooks when I signed at the end, I say, life is what you make it, you determine your destiny. And I really believe that, you know, our dreams start and end with us. and. If you believe in yourself, you can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do, but it starts with us. So, you know, that's definitely one of my, my life mottos. 